Well, new today at 5, a scary situation for a man just finishing up a workout in Commerce Township. An 18-year-old victim robbed of $150 while he was walking through the parking lot at Lifetime Fitness. But how it happened is particularly scary. Police say the robber was hiding under a pickup truck and rolled out taking the victim by surprise. So is there anything you can do to protect yourself if you're ever put in a similar situation? 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards went looking for techniques from a self-defense expert that could help save your life if something like this happens to you. Get me closer. Hey, come Stop. on. Come Stop. on. Oh. Just a few basic steps could end up saving your life. You can also come over the top and just grab the hair and yank the head back. We are showing you what you can do to fend off an attacker, but first, self-defense expert Mark Cordes says every time you leave your home, you should be thinking defensively. You need to think about all the different types of scenarios that could possibly happen to you and learn exactly what it is that you would do and then be committed to doing that. Many times the bad guy will cause a distraction or a diversion to get close to his victims. And if he grabs you and you can't run, scream, or set off a car alarm... Grab here, step in. A three-step defense. We'll show you that again in real time. Hey, come on, man. He grabs you, you grab his shirt near his stomach, lean in and push his chin backward. Good. Porter says keep in mind a lot of attackers will use a friendly approach or helpless approach and when in doubt, keep your distance. Ted Bundy used uh, the helpless a lot, arm in a sling, can you help me get this thing in? Um, the Detroit rapist used uh, the friendly approach. Most people will try to get you from behind. If someone can get you from behind and you're completely unaware, that makes you the, the most vulnerable victim you could be. But is there really anything you can do? Like that, which is going to break the grip. Then I'm going to elbow to the solar plexus, back knuckle to the nose, <laughs> and take them down. And once you get the hang of it, with a few steps, you can slip out of a chokehold. Is to block one arm this way and to bring your other arm over the top. Oh, wow. And then you take the person <laughs> down. And it's something that we all have done texting while we're walking. Cordis says that it is very dangerous and it's important for you to keep in mind because you're at your most vulnerable, not aware of your surroundings, and it's exactly what attackers are looking for. Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.